Okay, lesson 6-4, area of squares and rectangles. So we've learned about how to calculate the area inside of a shape using the different square units. And today we're gonna kind of put it all together. So one way to find the area of a rectangle is to count the number of unit squares that cover the figure, which is what we've done up until now. So we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, that's 12. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 30, 36. Leaves a lot of room for mistakes because it's very easy to lose count when you're counting 36 times, okay? But there are 36 squares in here, which means that it is 36 square feet. Another way to find the area is to multiply the number of rows by the number in each row because really it's an array. And that's how we find how many squares are inside the array. So there are six rows, right, with six squares in each row. So six times six is equal to 36. So the area of the rectangle is 36 square feet. So then if we look here, there are, use multiplication to find the areas of the window. Okay, this is, this is Karen's bedroom window. Okay, we have four rows going across, right? One, two, three, four. And there are one, two, three, four, five, five squares in each row. Again, remember it's an array, four times five. So four times five equals 20. So the area of the window is 20 square feet. And you can write that inside that it's 20. Up here, this one was 36. The area of Joey's ramp is 27 square feet. The ramp is nine feet long, but they're not telling us how wide it is. However, we know that the inside is 27 square feet. So the, it's what number times nine is equal to 27? So go ahead and take a minute on that one, pause it. Okay, you should come up with three. Three times nine is 27. So therefore, this is three feet, three times nine equals 27. Okay, find the area of the figure in two ways. So they've given us the number of rows and the number in each row. So first of all, figure out the area inside of their using multiplication. Pause it and do that. Okay, you should have come up with two times seven equals 14, and these are centimeters, so it has to be square centimeters, okay? What's the other way that we can figure out? If we didn't wanna multiply these numbers, how, many, how can we figure out how many squares we have in that? Write that down at number two. Okay, you should have written count the squares, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 square centimeters. All right, good job.